show you how to make this amazing vintage card and we're actually using some sets that you might not um, consider using together. We are going to use the uh, Very Vintage and uh, the One Wild Ride set and create this awesome, fun, kind of vintage biker gal card. And so I really hope you will join me and um, create this card with me. Okay, so this is the card that we're going to create. Like I said, it's a little bit of vintage, it's a little bit of biker chick, and it's a whole lot of fun. So the first things that we're going to need, of course, are our stamp sets. We will be using Very Vintage. This is a clear mount stamp set. Uh, it's a host set. And the only way you can get this set is by having a party that qualifies, which would be $150 or more. Or you place your own order of $150, get some friends together, and uh, get this great deal. You will love this set. Out of this set, we will be using the floral design, the doily design, and happy birthday. And then we're going to be using one wild ride. This is a great set, and sometimes it is really hard to make it more feminine. I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of uh, girlfriends who have their own bikes. And so, of course, I want to make them a card, but I still want it to feel a little bit more girly. So uh, we'll be using, just out of this set today, we're going to be using Born to Ride, Route 66, and the bike itself. Also, we will be using the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Crumb Cake and Knight of Navy. Then we have these fun little uh, metallic pearls that we will be using and the Copper Ribbon which is of course my all-time favorite. Some Snail, some Stampin' Dimensionals and um, our paper. So I, for the sake of time I have uh, in August we will be able to order this amazing framelit set called Stitched Seasons Framelits. And these, I want to show them to you, they're awesome framelits. Look at how much fun these are. And we've got ribbons and frames and leaves and swirlies and a garland and uh, some bells and just all kinds of great stuff. So you're wanting to have this set and will only be available in August. And then we will have our frames cut out. For the sake of time, I have pre-cut. Also, we will be using the uh, Designer Series Paper Pack. Uh, it is the Garden Impressions. And I have pulled out the piece that is uh, this color on the one side and then um, the coral on the other. We're, we will be using this side. And I have cut it at um, 3 inches by 5 and 1 half. So we have this piece. Then we have some saffron. It is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then we have our pieces that I have pre-cut for the sake of time on the Big Shot. I have used the largest frame, and this is out of Knight of Navy. And then I've used the next size, the middle frame, and this is out of our uh, ivory paper. And then I also just have a scrap, and that is for stamping our um, Born to Ride sentiment on. So uh, let's go ahead and get started doing some stamping. I'm going to set this aside for just a moment. And the first thing we want to do is open up our Knight of Navy. Then we want our stamp that is the uh, rose floral design and we will be using that in a couple of places. On the inside of our card we will want to stamp just a corner and um, we're going to stamp it this way because it's a landscape card. Ink this up really well. I always try to make sure I've got a lot of ink on it and then I want to just hit the corner and I'm going to give it a nice press and let the paper pull the ink off the pad. All right, isn't that pretty? I love this. And then we want to open it up and we're going to do the same thing and stamp the bottom edge of our card. All right, and we are done with that stamp. But while we have the navy out, let's go ahead and um, do our stamping on our Born to Ride. 
That is also in the Knight of Navy. And again, hold it for a moment and let the paper pull the ink off of the stamp. And there we have a nice, nice image. And then let's go ahead and open up our crumb cake. I'm going to leave that um, navy open for just a moment. And let's pull our frame here, this frame right here. And get our doily. Again, ink it up really well. And just randomly stamp on this piece. While you have it, go ahead and just give a couple on your Born to Ride. And then we will set that aside. Go ahead and leave that open for a moment. And we want the Route 66. I'm going to ink that up. And then I'm going to stamp off and then on because I don't want it super dark. I may even do three just to get a little bit different um, feel. And then I'm just going to catch an edge. And finally there, and we are done. One more with the navy. Open your card back up. We're going to use the happy birthday stamp. And it can be a thinking of you, congratulations, uh, just anything that fits You know what you want to tell somebody. I'm going to use happy birthday. And go ahead and just, again, give it a press. Let the paper pull the ink off the stamp. All right, the inside of our card is stamped, and we're going to set that aside for a moment. I want to close this up, and then while I have my um, soft or my crumb cake out, I want to just take this paper and tear it an edge, and I want to tear it towards myself. And I want to take a sponge, and I want to ink the paper up. I want to make it. Um, more vintage or shabby, let's say, worn. I guess worn, I don't know. And again, just kind of go over it a little bit, especially that edge. All right. And then we are done with the crumb cape. So let's set that aside. And then, finally, we want to stamp our motorcycle. I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black stays on black also works again make sure you really get your stamp inked up well that always makes the difference in your image and i always just flip mine over to double check i'm going to line that up about right there again giving it a good press there we go on to assembly the first thing i want to do is um lay this down and we're just going to line this up straight across. I'm going to um, just use snail to adhere this to my card. And I, again, like to be generous with my snail because this will be mailed and I want it to stay together. And where I live, the fluctuation in temperature can actually make it funny things happen with, the, um, with your adhesives. All right, so we have that down. Again, just some more snail for our frame. I bet the snail people like me with what I use. And I want to lay that down there. Okay, before we lay our next frame down, we want to cut a piece of this uh, copper ribbon. And I will cut about a 10 inch piece of it. Now, this is fun. I just, I love this. It's a really neat ribbon to work with. For this one, I want to take my ends and just stretch and I'm going to take and stretch it all the way down okay you see that I've got it all stretched out and you can see why I needed the length I did because it does definitely shorten it when you do the stretching and then I'm going to just shape it a little bit here then I want to just run it along kind of the edge of this so I may play with it just a little bit to kind of give it the shape I want I think it looks kind of like netting I like this because it feels metal and vintage and so it kind of fits with the steampunk with the uh, motorcycles and with the vintage I'm just going to run some snail along the edge there and just give it a press kind of work with it a little bit and then we will put snail on our last frame here that has our motorcycle and just set that 
in there as well. And then we're going to take our metallic pearls or pearl metallics, whatever they're called. And uh, I like to use my paper piercer to pluck these little jewels off here because it's so much easier. And then I'm going to just take three and stick them in the corners, just the these three corners, like so. And then I need to just take a moment and fussy cut this. Um, it doesn't take long to fussy cut. One of my tips is move the paper, not your scissors. You will get much more control and a nicer cut. Okay, here is our Born to Ride banner. Uh, you can see uh, the just a little bit of vintage in here. You could also use the tire tread one from the uh, old One Wild Ride. I'm going to use just a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals here and pop that off my card. All right, and we will just set this right here in this corner, making sure that it lines up so it doesn't fall off the edge of our card. And there you have it, Born to Ride. A very vintage, um, almost a little bit of nod to steampunk because we've got our copper and uh, mechanical for sure. And then, um, happy birthday. Thank you for joining me for this card. Again, you're going to want the, these great sets, One Wild Ride and Very Vintage. And um, thank you for joining me.